Welcome to the second video in our series of Sources of Finance. In this video, we will be looking at rights issues as a source of finance. What will we be covering in this video? First, we will understand what a rights issue is. After this, we will use an example to calculate the theoretical value of a right. So what is a rights issue? It is an offer of new shares to the existing shareholders. Importantly, the existing shareholders are offered the new shares in proportion to their current shareholdings. A rights offer, therefore, allows a company to increase its capital without diluting the current shareholders' ownership. However, because it is a right but not an obligation, some shareholders may not take up the offer, in which case their shareholdings will be diluted and the shareholding proportions will change. To encourage the shareholders to take up the rights issue, the subscription price for the rights is often lower than the current market price. Finally, rights issues may be transferable, meaning that the shareholders can sell them to external parties. For this reason, we need to be able to calculate the theoretical value of a right. Let us use an example to calculate the theoretical value of a right. We have a listed company that has 30 million shares in issue. These shares are currently trading on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange at 5 rand per share. The company now wants to raise an additional 40 million rand in capital through a rights issue and has set the subscription price at 4 rand per right. Now we need to calculate the theoretical value of each right. This example has broken this process up into three steps. We first calculate the rights ratio. We then calculate the theoretical value per share after the rights issue. And finally, we calculate the theoretical value per right. Take a moment now to pause this video and think about what you feel the value of the right is. Do you think it is 4 Rand, being the subscription price of the right? Perhaps it is 1 Rand, being the difference between the current share price and the right's subscription price. Perhaps it is something different. Now that you have thought about the value per right, let us begin by calculating the right's ratio. The rights ratio represents the number of new shares issued for each existing share held. We can calculate it by dividing the new shares issued by the existing shares. So the next question we need to ask is how many shares do we need to issue under the rights issue in order to raise the 40 million rand? To do this, we can take the 40 million rand to be raised and divide it by the subscription price of 4 rand per right. This shows us that 10 million shares need to be issued under the rights issue. Now it is very easy to determine our rights ratio. We take the new shares of 10 million and divide by the existing shares of 30 million, and we get the rights ratio of 1 is to 3. This means that shareholders will require three existing shares in order to qualify for one right or new share. The next item we need to calculate is the theoretical value per share after the rights issue. To do this, we first need to calculate the theoretical market value of the company as a whole after the rights issue, and then divide this by the number of shares in issue. Pause this video and give it a try to see what you come up with. Okay, so how do we calculate the market value of the company post the rights issue? First, we calculate the current market value of the company. This is the current number of shares in issue of 30 million multiplied by the current share price of 5 Rand to get 150 million rand. The new shares to be issued will then generate extra cash for the company. This cash generated 
will equal the 10 million new shares multiplied by the 4 rand per share under the rights issue to give us 40 million rand. The market value of cash is simply equal to its face value. So to calculate the new market value of the company, we add the 150 million and the 40 million to get a total of 190 million rand. This represents the theoretical value of the firm as a whole. To get the theoretical value per share, we take the market value of 190 million we just calculated and divide it by the total shares in issue. The total shares in issue are the original 30 million plus the new 10 million to give us 40 million shares. We then get the value of 4 rand and 75 cents per share. By this stage, we have done all the hard work. We know that the theoretical value per share after the rights issue is 4 rand 75. We also know that the subscription price of each right is 4 rand. To get the theoretical value per right, we simply take the difference between the two to arrive at a theoretical value of 75 cents per right. Alternatively, we could have used this formula on screen to calculate the value of a right. If we apply it to our example, we see that the value of the right again works out to be 75 cents per right. That brings us to the end of our video on rights issues. In our next video, we will look at debt, equity, and hybrid instruments. See you next time.